started off with a 5.7? Yeah. It looks a little bit further away it's from that, huh? It's stockish. <laughs> it's stockish? <laughs> So, okay, so it started off as a 5.7, and then what'd you do to it? It's got a 6.1 base, 4.26. 4.26, okay. Forged, and it's got the uh, little Magnuson blower on, 2300. Good little package, it works. 6.1 base, 4.26. Now, did you cam it? Oh, yeah. Forced air yeah, cam? Yeah, yeah. Who, what kind of grind? Who, who's... Uh, it's an Harrington Performance motor. They did it back in 2014, and it was just one of their power packages they could gotcha. get. Did you notice a difference? Oh, absolutely. Totally Big different. time. Yeah. I just ran high nines with it, so. And that's only on 10 pounds of boost. Yeah, it's baby boost. I'm leaving in second gear, actually, off a two-step. So. Are you thinking about cranking up the boost? Or that's as much that, as you can get out of it. Yeah. It's got a 12-pound pulley on it, but a 12-pound pulley on a 426, you're maxed out about 10 pounds. I think I've seen close to maybe 11 at times on two pounds when you're looking at the looking at the uh, the passes on the computer but, but damn you've created a monster here so what was your last yeah. pass you said nine what I went a 994 at 137 994 so it weighs okay. around 37 50 37 80 depending on what track you go to so he just put the passenger seat in and some sandbags uh, to make it a little bit heavier. You guys just saw his nine, and uh, now he's just trying to dial it in because he's supposed to be in the 10 class. This is a nice day so too for 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 some cool. times. It's nice and cool. Yeah, I just put brand new tires on it before we came, so I'm I'm good on on hooking and leaving in second. Obviously, it's oh, it helps too. It's got a 410 gear. Okay. So All right, I'm I'm looking forward to seeing what you do, man. I'll get it on uh I'll get it on video. Hopefully, hopefully it's wheels up. <laughs> Does it actually go two wheels? Uh, I haven't got a picture yet, but I think I did my first pass. It felt sure felt like it did. Second gear wheels up, I think, is pretty cool. Heck of a build, man. So, how long have you had this thing for? Since 07, I bought it brand new. It was just a road and track performance RT. You know, uh huh. And you just like, wanted to keep modding it, so. Yeah, I just turned it. Well, first we, we did the blower on the 5.7, and it would run like 12 O's, and I was like, no, that's not enough. So then we did this package, and it was running on pump gas, it was running 11 O's, and then Eric. Storms from BFNY Performance has been doing all my tuning ever since, and we've got it on race fuel, and it's now obviously just goes, it goes high nines. So you started off at 14s, yeah. put a blower on the 5.7. Mm -hmm. We're flirting with 12s, 12s, low 12s or high 12s? Low 12 O's. 12 O's, okay. And then you went, you wanted to go the whole. Yeah, I wanted and, to run the 1050 class, so that was the goal. Now next year, hopefully, we're going to run the 10 O class. For it, so. Have you considered nitrous at all? No, I don't want. Where it would be what I need, but I just take taken way down the car. Yeah. I still have the carpet and the council can be taken out still for if the track's hot. Everything's going to have to start it. becoming carbon fiber, man. Yes. Yeah, this hood actually weighs more than the factory hood. The factory hood's at 7 pounds. This thing's like 11 or 12, but I wanted the, uh, I wanted the air, you know, the ram air looking good. 
can this stuff. can this um, 426 handle a larger blower? Maybe oh, yeah, 15, absolutely. 20 pounds. Oh, Have you thought about pounds. maybe that? I just don't want to spend the money over again. It's That's understandable. I'm, I'm comfortable with the build I got and I'm making it work. And okay. Now it's just basically doing maintenance. And what do you think you're putting down to the ground? You know, you, we tried to dyno it, but with the 410 gears, it was kept blowing tires off on the dyno. Okay. You the yeah, dyno. you weren't getting accurate readings. So if you do those calculator types, you know, weight of the car, what you run and stuff, I'd have to do it with what I just ran. says I should be like seven eight hundred at the wheel. I don't know. I'm skeptical okay. of it. If no, it's, that, that sounds much, pretty accurate. Know. But if those calculators are dead on, but my mile an hour has always been high for the times I run. So what? What's your mile an hour? Like one thirty five. I just did one thirty seven. So one thirty five and running ten fifty. That's a lot of mile an hour for a ten fifty. So yeah. You know, there's more there. So it's just basically if I could get the, the car off the line in first gear, it would be even. But yeah, it won't. It just yeah.